Hey guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally getting to some 80s albums. I am so excited. <laughs> um, I... 80s has definitely become one of my top groups and I haven't even listened to any of their albums yet. Um, <laughs> mostly just their like music video title tracks and stuff and then like a couple other things. And they have become one of my favorite groups. Um, just like them as individuals too, like the different tones and everything, they all mix so well together. Um, but we're going to be checking out their debut album, which is the, I'm pretty sure it's a mini album because there's only six songs on there. Um, but the Treasure episode one, all to zero. And it was released on October 24th, 2018. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they have like the series and stuff you guys were saying about like the treasure um series and like fever and stuff and then they're on the new one now um so we have a good amount to go through but we're gonna start with this one um there's six tracks and two we've already heard um but it starts with intro long journey and then pirate king and then treasure and then the last three i haven't heard yet um twilight stay in my way so disclaimer, we are using lyric videos. Um, I don't know how accurate they are. <laughs> if they're all lyric translations and everything are always like not 100%. So definitely correct anything that isn't right. Um, Cause I don't feel like, I feel like for the most part I can pick out their voices, but some I still can get mixed up and everything, especially cause I haven't checked out mostly like B-sides and stuff. Um, so definitely let me know, but yeah, I am so excited. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, I was just looking at like the credits and stuff because I like to do that during um, album listens and everything just to see like who worked on the songs and stuff. Um, and I know with KQ, I think specifically with ATs, I think they have like a designated like um, production team and stuff like Eden and Edenary and stuff. Um, but it looks like most of the credits are for, please <laughs> bear with me with like pronunciation and everything, but um, is it Lise, Buddy, and Ian um, seem to be like the main producers um, and everything on this. So I'll definitely go through like each song's um, credits and everything too when it comes to it, but we're going to get right into the intro long journey. Um, and it looks like... Is it Maddox or Maddox? Um, is like the one who starts off this. Ooh. People want it. People dream about it. It can be different to every individual. It can complete us, or it can destroy us, and it can change the world. Dude, I love these strings, like the orchestra kind of feeling us. Treasure. Mmm. Ooh. I love the build up of the instrumental. Of sand, beating like the hearts of youth. We're at the starting point of this long <laughs> The freezing winds may make us shiver. The heat of the sun may make us thirsty. The vibrations of the sand may swallow us, but we'll never stop. Gold, eternal life, honor, love, fame. It doesn't matter what you dream for. So let me ask you. What is your treasure? Oh, I love that melody. Like, okay, first going into this, this is such an opening. Like, this is so cool. I love when albums do this, or like artists and stuff do this with their albums and everything. They have like the intro, but like they set it around what the whole album's gonna be, but it's very s simplified. But I love this, like, it's more of like spoken word over like the really dramatic instrumental. Um, but those strings that like, <laughs> they went like all in with this pirate theme, like right away. Um, 
I love the melody and how the strings and instrumental is so forward. Like it's so in front of his voice that it like, it's kind of over modeling it. Um, but it's so good because then he like raises the intensity and everything when he says it. But those strings didn't it? Will you join us? I love that. Yeah, I love that opening. <laughs> it really sets the tone for this. Um, and the next one is Pirate King. So that leading into that, I feel like that's such a switch out, but it's like really cool. Um, but like I said, the next one is Pirate King and we have listened to this and Treasure, but I feel like when I watch the music videos, I never get to pay attention to the lyrics as much. So with album listens, I think I'm still going to include them in here. Um, just so I can look at the lyrics and like listen to the songs again, because I love both of these songs. Um, but it was produced by Lee's buddy and Eden and then written by Lee's buddy, Eden, HLB, Hong Joon, and Mingi. Um, so we're going to get right into this. And like I said, with lyric videos, I'm just going to pick the most viewed. <laughs> I know that's probably not always the best idea. Um, but let me know if there's like specific channels that you would recommend that have them like most accurate. Um, but we're going to get right into this. Like, this being their debut is crazy to me. That synth in the back is so cool, and like, I love how consistent it is throughout this. I love that effect that is on the voice right there. And that like harsh beat right there. Boom, 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 boom. I love when he speeds up that flow. The backing instrument though, that synth right there, like prolongs at the end. I love that like that's like such a high pitch sound mixed with this like lower um harsh sound is really nice Mm 
Ooh, and then I like how it cuts out and just those hard beats. Still such a good like debut, like that's crazy. Okay, next is Treasure, and it looks like it's the same um, credits and stuff for this one too. So we're gonna get right into this. I love the switch up in this song too. I love those little like the like symbols. And the, I remember the piano so much in this song. I like those kicks too. I love how the beat was like so the beat was kind of its own thing especially during the verses and stuff but like going into this is like I love how it follows their voices um like it's on the same beat as that it's really nice Then goes back right into the stance beat right here. Ooh, I love how it has that like snare right there. And that like music box sound is so nice. I love that chanting too, like with all of them together like that. That like just slow build up right there. That like, the swelling in the back of the instrumental is so nice. I like how much I've noticed in a lot of their songs they talk about stars and starlight and stuff. I really like that. I remember that during the music video. I love how it just cuts out. Dude, jungle with those vocals. Okay, Treasure, that production on there was so good. I think when I first watched the music video, that's one of the first things that I noticed too about the whole song was just like the going in and out of different rhythms and everything was so nice. Um, 
but the next one is Twilight, and it's the first one, like, official song that I haven't heard. Um, so I'm excited, and let's get into it. This is how I feel about you, Twilight. Okay. It's like Twilight, yeah. Oh, baby, I just wanna see the Twilight. Wanna see the with you. Ooh. Ooh. I love that like flute kind of sound. It reminds me that part reminds me of um what they used in Say My Name. <laughs> I love that rhythm right there. I'm gonna apologize ahead of time. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of pausing and rewinding in these. Um, I personally love music and like the production and like everything that goes into making a song. Um, so I like to, instead of like listening all through and everything, I always go back and I know some people don't like it, <laughs> um, but I like to pick up on like everything that I can just to you know, give it justice. <laughs> um, but yeah, just for a warning. I love how that flute comes in. Ooh, the pressing of the piano. Dude, the breathiness in his voice. That like tropical kind of feel mixed with the slower beat and everything was so nice. I love how that just cuts out. It goes from this like very tropical instrumental and stuff and then to his very red voice. I love when the beat slows down and then Hongjun speeds up his flow right here. It's such a good contrast. He does a lot in the songs and I love it. Hmm. <laughs> 
That's my favorite part of the song. I love <laughs> I love how you can actually hear like the breathiness in his voice too. Okay, I love that song. I think that's such a good input into the album, especially after those two, because it was such a nice, um, the way that Treasure transitioned into that song is such a good idea because it made it more upbeat and like more on the fun side. Um, because I feel like Pirate King had a little bit of like a deeper kind of feel. Um, not necessarily dark or anything, but it definitely had a little bit of a darker instrumental than what Treasure had. And then this even further into more of like that upbeat kind of feel. Um, but I feel like this Twilight is like Say My Name and wave like together <laughs> in my opinion i feel like that's like what it's more towards i really like that um i loved i'm pretty sure if this is accurate it did sound like sun um like that quality he has to his voice but that breathiness and like that part was my favorite by far i love that um and then like that kind of like tropical beat and stuff was so good but Next one we're gonna get into is Stay, so let's go. Again, it has like that little tropical kind of um, drum beat. I do like that with this album, they're the especially the transitions from the verses into the choruses, they're not I don't wanna say like erupt um like very erupt or anything. They're like they kind of are. <laughs> like they're very the beats and the verses and stuff are very upbeat and um faster and stuff. And then during the choruses, like right away they slow it just right down. Um when like an individual starts singing and stuff. I really like that because it gives it such a different feel, but it's definitely it's still like cohesive and stuff throughout the whole song. Like from Hong Jun. And it just like spaces out right there. But it still has those like high hats and stuff in the back. And then it builds up again. Yeah, I like how it still has that kind of like island feel and stuff in the back. See what I mean? How it like switches right away? I like that. And you get that synth and stuff in there too. piano at the end. I love how like 
fast that is, but it's so light and subtle. I like how empty that beat is right there, and then it comes back in. I definitely like that. I like the way that they're going with this album. They brought it right into those like tropical island feel. Um, very different. I feel like this and Twilight were similar um, with like the tropical beat and everything, but they did have different rhythms and stuff throughout it. But I feel like these two compared to the first two, especially Pirate King is very different. <laughs> um, but I love how they brought this album like into that kind of realm and stuff. Um, but I did notice, I know that Yasung does not have a lot of lines, especially in the beginning stuff. Um, and I know that was partly him not wanting a lot of stuff and then partly other stuff. Um, but nonetheless, I love when he does get like the little parts and everything, but especially Jong Ho, he had a lot of lines in that last song, especially because it was a lot of chorus. Um, but I really liked it that I feel like they do the very tropical upbeat feel very well. Um, like it's not overdone, like too in your face, like some stuff can be. Um, but we're gonna get into the last one, which is my way. I feel like this album went by very quickly. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, the first one was like just an intro. So it was like a minute and something and I have heard Pirate King and Treasure. So maybe that's why. Um, but I want to listen to another one, <laughs> but the last one is my way. So I'm interested to see how they close out the album because they did bring it into such like a um, more like upbeat kind of island feel. So get right into it. I love the way HEs uses piano in music is my favorite. Every song that I've heard, especially like Say My Name and stuff, like the way that they choose to use it at certain parts, like the certain chords stuff that they use um, in certain parts really draws attention to it and really gives each song its own style. I really love it. Finally we begin. Yeah. Finally we begin. Yeah. Mm. Okay, if this is going the way I think, I'm gonna love this song. I love this lower kind of fuller voice from someone. This instrumental, okay, <laughs> we're going back, but it's so empty, but it just has that sound. This. Mm. 
And then they bring that back in. I love how high pitched that is. I like those kicks too on the offset of the piano. I really noticed that I really like Oo Young's voice. His, he has a very, like, it's very more forward. I don't, I don't want to use the word nasally because people have like a negative connotation with that. Um, I don't, so it is more of like the nasally kind of um, forward voice and stuff. So it really sets apart. I really like it because it really gives it that like unique kind of feel to it. Like, especially with that meh sound, like... I noticed it a lot in um, Eternal Sunshine, too. Like, the contrast between Young's voice and Sunghwa, like, Sunghwa is very... Like, right now, he has the more of the throaty sound and stuff, like, the opposite of what Young did. And I love it because it gives it such a different, like, style when you switch up between them. And then Jungho has that, like, belty kind of too. That like screech kind of like echoey sound. I really like that. I really like that. It's like a very um chanty kind of vibe. Those vocals are such a nice touch to it. Okay, I have to say that that was my favorite on the album. I loved the instrumental in that so much. <laughs> like that high pitched sound was so like, it stuck out so much. So it really set the tone for the whole song mixed with the piano and then those kicks and stuff. It was so good. <laughs> um, I loved, especially like just how everyone sounded on this. They all had their like different tones and everything, but they mixed so well together, but it definitely, gave it a switch up. Like, even Young, Sunghwa, and Jungho, like, they all have powerful voices, but they're all different types. Um, first, let me tell you, I am not a vocal coach or anything like that. Um, not professional, nope. So terms I'm not very good with, and I could be completely wrong, <laughs> but this is just, like, my opinion. Um, but 
Ooyoung definitely has a more forward voice than both of them, and then Sungwa is more that throatiness, but it's not as belty as Jung Ho's is. Um, it's more still in that like deeper kind of um, throatiness, but still he brings in a lot of um, airiness and stuff to it. And then Jung Ho is like belting king, like freaking vocals off the like. It's insane how his voice is like that. And it's so nice because it has that very belty, throaty, like very distinct sound. And it's so nice because it really like one ups the song and really makes it like even more intense when you hear it. It's so nice. Um, and then he's such a great vocalist that like he does get a lot of lines, which is expected. Um, but I love it. This whole album, I've been recording for almost an hour <laughs> and I don't know how because this really seems like it went by so fast. <laughs> um, I don't know how long this is going to be, probably like maybe a half hour or something, but this album went by so quick to me. But yeah, like I said, I don't understand how this is their debut. <laughs> like this is what I would expect from like an artist that just came out with like a mini album that was already into their career. Um, like I liked it so much and the whole feel of it, it definitely had that um, tropical kind of island feel, especially throughout the last like three songs, four songs, um, like transitioning and from Treasure, which Pirate King did have it a lot and stuff, but definitely not as lighter feeling I think as the other songs because probably because like that intense instrumental and everything with the dance and stuff um which I can definitely see because it was a title track so they were like definitely going for that especially with the dance and like choreo and everything with the music video which I loved um but yeah definitely love this album um I am so excited to check out more from them <laughs> because this being their first one I can't wait to see what other stuff they try to find out and like try out um, I think the next album is the one that has, is it Say My Name on it? And then Hala Hala. I think those two are on the same album, right? Um, but so pumped for that. Um, so excited to listen to those again. I think Say My Name is one of my most, like, most replayed songs from them. Um, so far, like, one of my favorite drops in their songs so far. Um, but yeah, so that will be coming soon. I am so excited to get to that and just continue through all, all their albums and I am seeing them in like two months so I want to get all, through all of these before then. Um, so there's going to be a lot of AT stuff so I hope you guys are fine with that. Um, but yeah, I love this album. They all sounded great and I am so excited to check out more. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.